Hello friends, in today's session I'll take another subsection of profit loss and discount which is questions on um, faulty balance. Now at times you get questions on faulty balance where you'll have to again uh, apply a lot of logic while concluding what is it that needs to be done. Right? So the kind of question that you, have, you can encounter in fault, faulty balances, let's say there's a shopkeeper and he's having a paying balance. that shows 800 grams for 1000 grams okay. he is doing a markup of 20% on his CP Markup is nothing but percentage increase on CP. Find the profit or loss in this transaction. So again, the idea is to make things simple and not complicated. So if I read these first two lines, shopkeeper is having a weighing balance that shows 800 for 1000. Right? So you need to first of all conclude whether from here the shopkeeper is having profit or loss. It is showing 800 for 1000. That means shopkeeper is putting 1000 but the uh, weighing balance is displaying 800. So the customer will pay for 800. That means there is going to be a loss of 200 grams on the base of 1000 grams which means there is a loss of 20%. That means because of weighing balance there is a loss of 20%. Now as I have told you that markup is nothing but percentage increase on CP. That means it is an incremental value. So there's a loss of 20 because of a flaw in weighing balance and there's an increment of 20 because there's a markup of 20%. Now, as I've been telling you since beginning, these two factors doesn't compensate each other and gives you 0%. That is wrong. It will go hand in hand successively. So there's a decrease of 20 and there's an increase of 20, which is minus A plus B minus A into B by 100, which will come out to be a decrease of 4%. So this is how you solve these kind of questions.